Hey girl, hey! So this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial and I haven't done one in a while. This is actually a celebrity inspired tutorial. And this tutorial is based off of Levin Rambin and she plays Glimmer in the Hunger Games coming up. And she did a spread with them and some of the other stars of the movie about denim. And I really liked her makeup in it and I decided I wanted to do a tutorial based off of it. So. Um, it's not focused on the makeup, so it's kind of hard to see it on the magazine, but I just kind of took it and ran with it and did my interpretation of it. It's really simple eyes with like smudgy liner, peachy cheeks, really glowy, and then like this blue toned pink lips. So um, yeah, there she is again. I'll put in pictures. She's in the middle. Um, I'll put in pictures of like up close of her so you can see it a little bit better. It might be kind of hard, but this is just what I got out of it, and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you later. Thumbs up if you're excited for the Hunger Games. Okay, bye. Light colored, any kind of matte base or primer, and I'm using Cliche Cosmetics Primetime Eye Primer. Then I'm going in with the Naked 2 palette into Foxy, which is just a light kind of skin tone color, and it's matte. So you wanna put that all over your lid up to the brow bone and just cover your entire eye area with that. Next, her brow bone was kind of shimmery, it seemed like, so I'm using Booty Call and just going right under the brow with that as a highlight. Then I'm going in with my Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette and using Tainted. She looked like she had this, like, kind of light purpley pink smoky color in the crease, so I lightly placed that in the crease. A little bit on the lower lash line and then with an actual smaller eyeliner brush I concentrated that on the lower lash line too. So next just blend it out a little bit so your crease color isn't too prominent and then line your upper lash line with a black eyeliner. This is important to make it thick on the outside because her eyeliner was really standing out. That's not a correct word, whatever. And then I lined it on a little bit thinner on the inside too. This is Max Black Track Fluid Line, BT Dubs. Then using Max Center Stage Eyeshadow, just use any really, really dark brown. And I'm using a short shader from Sigma. Get that all over that brush. And what you're gonna do is just go straight on and smudge it out. Cause she had really smudgy, sultry kind of upper lash line eyeliner and that was kind of the main focus of the look to me. So just smudge it out. Don't be a... So keep smudging, keep smudging. And then whatever's left, just put on the lower lash line, if you please, and then curl your lashes. Go for it, and I'm just using L'Oreal's Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. Her lashes weren't super, super out there or anything, so I just used this mascara and mascara it up those lashes, and then a little bit on the lower lash line as well. Then I used Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes over the top just to kind of finish it off and give it a nicer, completed look. This is just optional though, just what I like to do. And her cheeks were super peachy and glowy, so I'm using Laura Mercier's Orange Blossom Blush, which is the perfect pinky peach blush for me. So just go ahead and get it all over your brush and apply this generously since her cheeks were pretty, pretty noticeable, I'd say. And next I'm highlighting with Max Mineralized Skin Finish and by Candlelight. And you can just use whatever highlighter you want. She had super glowy kind of cheeks that were noticeably highlighted, so go all out with this. I'm using Sigma's Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm going a little bit further down the cheekbone than I normally would towards the nose, but that's what hers looked like, so that's what I'm doing. And then a little bit on the forehead as well. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here and down the bridge of that nose. And next I'm using NYX Lipstick in Pink Lyric, which is just a bright hot pink with a kind of blue undertone to it, which, exact, which is exactly the color she had, and just apply it all over them lips. That's right. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to do my best to make it as accurate as I could from the faraway pictures, but yeah, so I'll see you next time. Bye!